A Segway robot is to a degree inspired by Transformer, so it transforms between a scooter mode to a personal robot. The idea of combining a personal transporter uh, with a personal robot is an interesting idea for us because it allows a person to bring this robot with them in many ways by riding it or it can follow you as well. So the mobility part really makes this robot very interesting. We are aiming for a robot that uh, can operate within the three miles radiation. So it can be in your home, but it can also be out in the community or in retail spaces, etc. So this is a very powerful computer that you can engage with it in a three-dimensional way, but it also moves with you. So that expands the use cases compared to the tabletop and pure indoor ro ro robots. The base is a Segway Mini Pro, but beyond that, we added Intel's real sense and Atom processor towards that. There's also a fisheye camera that will allow you to shoot videos and uh, photos from a wide angle. And there's 4 plus 1 microphone array, which allows you to interact it from many places in the room. And there's also a hardware extension bay in the back, where you can attach very interesting accessories such as robotic arms to it. We use Intel's RealSense camera uh, by taking the depth data and that allows us to do many things. For example, on the basic level, the object avoidance in the navigation uses that data. And personal tracking and facial recognition also uses the camera as well. That uh, allows us to build very interesting uh, apps on top of that. We have built up the uh, full SDK, which we were just explaining yesterday. Uh, we have six very exciting APIs on the robot side. There's also a mobile device side SDK. If you want to build a combination of robot and the mobile devices, although you don't have to, and that will allow people to do many things. It seems like the developers concentrating their interest in six very interesting verticals consumer services and also a lot in the medical care and elderly care and also gaming and entertainment. Telepresence is another big one where you can send a robot to represent you and do things which gives you more time. A lot of the research institutes, uh, both in academia as well as in the industry, they are particularly interested in integrating different kind of AI uh, research results onto a stable platform. Because we're in development, so we're trying to test out the sparks in the robot mode. But in the scooter mode, it can go as fast as to 18 km per hour. And you can easily carry a person that's uh, close to 200 pounds. But in the robot mode, since we are testing out different applications, so the specs will be slightly different. We also put a speed limit to it so that it's safe uh, when it navigates. So there is a name. We haven't announced it yet, and we welcome more ideas. Right now we call it Segway Robot, but there will be a real name for the bot. So we are shipping the developer edition later this year. The consumer edition will come in 2017.